Hello guys to another video, a Fortnite video. Today we'll be ranking all the locations in Fortnite Season 3, Chapter 2, and um, let's get into it. Um, lastly, in 20, like, position is the Orchard, um, just what it is, a couple of houses, a couple of chests, just a good place to rotate to if you're coming from Steamy, or maybe frenzy something like that but not that great um in 17th or in 18 in 19th it's camp cod um you might not know it's very far out of the circle bottom southeast corner of the map um it's, it's got around 18 chests 17 chests pretty good location just very far away from the map so you having a tough time getting out of there especially if you the storm is not your place it's usually gonna be a very long trek um and 17th um is risky which is one of my favorite locations for dropping solos not very viable for squads duos but very central on the map it's got chests at the top of the it's got a couple of chests um and it's a good place also to rotate out of Pleasant, um, Frenzy, Authority, so if you do land there, you got a lot of places you can go to, maybe sweep up some kills, not the worst place in the world, um, and, and 17th, um, is Holly Hedges, um, now, it's got 14 chests, so, you wanna go there, do all very smack dab and okay, so those, also, you might, you're not going to get the best loot. It's only 14 chests. And it's very out west in the map. So, you also, you might have to have a trek to get to Circle. Um, but, and it's just not really the best place to land. Not really anywhere you can rotate out of. Um, you can either go to Sweaty, which is a little bit further north. You can go to, like, Weeping, which is a little bit more inward, a little bit more east. Still not a very good place if you want to land, get kills, chests, unless the first place to drop. Then you'll probably get some kills. Um, in 16th is Weeping. It's got 11 chests, so drop them in solos. And the main part of Weeping, just only available in solos, really. Um, but what I think is better than, makes it better than Holly, is the fact that it's got, it's got pretty good location, better location, and I think it's just makes it so much better is all the materials all that wood it's so easy to get 999 wood um just a very viable place to land if you're in solos or if you're coming from places like fortilla slurpy even the holly you can get those materials pretty easily and it's kind of like a safe haven in a way kind of hard for people to spot you if you heal up you got low damage just kind of hide there get some mushrooms very good place to land um it's a pretty good land, place to land, and in and in fifteenth we have Misty Meadows, and I think that it's a pretty good place to land if you're solos, duos, squads a little bit pushing it, but still kind of viable. Pretty good loot. Um, it's also it's not it's not the worst location in the world because you can head usually to either Slurpy or Lazy, which usually easy to other places but just uh location doesn't cut it and um just a very meh place to land um if you're in solo and 15th is coral castle newly added um not the best location but viable um usually it's you get some chests usually not many people are there but I know that you probably will get a kill or two as of my time playing. Um, and just a very also meh place. And then also another pretty meh place is Steamy, which you'd think is pretty far out on the map. I would say just not the easiest to get to, you know, I mean, well, it's fine to get to, but like hard to walk the storm very far. You've got a good amount of chests, I'd say. Probably very viable to go to squads. 
find their solos, usually get a guy or two, maybe three. And but not many not many ways to get out of there. Now it's cars obviously, but you know, still it's gonna be a little while to get into the zone, especially if it's not on your side on that day. But um um and in twelfth, um I just realized I just said it wrong. Um in thirteenth Thirteen, 14th is steamy, 15th is coral, so salty should be replaced by coral, coming up with salty, which would be at 15th, sorry about that, salty, 11 chests, Not you got, don't go there for in squads, it's usually very popular, so a couple squads will go there, not many chests, not much loot, squad, duos, you're still kind of pushing it, solo, I mean, you could go right to authority, so that's a plus, but Really not doing a good job of going to Salty, not many chests, way worse than its original chapter 1 Salty. But um, and an 11th is the first boss place, Caddy. Caddy has, the Mythic is probably the best Mythic duo, which is a charge shotgun, amazing, mm, top 3 best guns in the game at the moment, rocket launcher, who doesn't want so impulse rocket launcher thingy but um yeah but um it's very small so usually if you're going in squads usually there'll be another squad so it's pretty small the amount of henchmen there makes it a little bit toxic especially if you lose your disguise you don't have a disguise and just doesn't have the best pay, best, best place to land it's pretty it's not got a good location so you all again you'll probably have to go to a zone so there's a chopper nearby, usually probably just won't go there because it's usually not close to the zone. Um, just not the best place. Then at 10th is, and 11th, oh god, I gotta do this better. At 11th is Pleasant, and Pleasant, it's just like Salty. It's, um, chapter 1 version was a lot better, just don't know what happened to it, really. It's got around 18 chests. It's pretty, it's viable to go to squads, duos, solos. You can go there. Location, it's not the worst. Um, not the best, but it's not that bad of a trek. You can go to, you can go to Frenzy, you can go to Salty, possibly you can go to 40, not the worst place, but definitely not the best. Ninth is Fortilla. All this stuff is the same thing as Caddy with location, although it has the choppers, which makes it a little bit better. It's got more chests, but I'm not really putting this out in the Mythic, because the Mythic isn't that much better. Um, usually, depending on where the bus is, you don't really get as many players or more players, but um, just an overall pretty good place to land if you're in solos, um, and it's coming up on our... Number ninth is retail. Um, retail actually, I landed pretty much pretty often. Um, it's right near Caddy and it's very close to Lazy, so you might not have not very. It's pretty. It's almost all the way at east in the east, so you might have to truck the storm. But usually, you can pass by Lazy, which usually has some chests, some kills, maybe a chopper. So you go out of there. And Caddy, obviously mythic, usually you might be able to get it, maybe you might be able to kill a guy, but um, it's just a pretty blah thing. And then, um, 7th and 8th is craggy, just craggy, a couple of chests all the way up in the north. Um, 6th is dirty docks, pretty good, it has 31 chests, I believe, very good, all the way out in the east go there, you can go squads, duos, solos, not much wrong with it, pretty good mats, just the location makes it not that good, um, sixth is frenzy, pretty good location, you can rotate to a lot of places, you can rotate to 40, pleasant, risky, you can even head steamy if the storm's there or whatnot, you can go to lazy if you're feeling like it, pretty good place, it's got around 15 chests I believe. It's just pretty good place to land. Also, the orchard. I forgot to mention that. Whatever. Um, fifth is Slurpee. And I, before, I don't know. I felt like 
season two and season one, I just landed there all the time. Now I just don't really as much, but it's a pretty good place. It's location, not that great. Materials is fine. You're going to get a lot of materials from killing the kids, but the thing that makes this place so good, if you, if you unless you die, you're coming out Slurpee with 100 health, 100 shields, guaranteed. While Slurp kegs, also you get a lot of materials from that. You have the water itself. Very good place, and you can rotate to either weeping, you can go to further places. It's a pretty good location. It just doesn't feel the same for some reason, but I know that it's a very good location. And coming up, coming up with at, at, um, at third, third, um, is the authority. And the thing with the authority is that. First thing to go with it, it's materials is fine, whatever. You can go there in squads if you're feeling kind of hasty. Um, and it's the thing that makes it the peach smack dab in the middle of the map. So, usually, going to be in the circle. If you're not in the circle, probably going to have to run 50 meters. And it's got um, pretty, um, like, around 15 to 18 chests. It's, got, it's a pretty good place to land. Um, and the mythic is, actually the jungle isn't good anymore, etc. Um, second is Lazy Lake. And this place, it's got, it's got about 32 chests, I believe. And it's not the best location, but you can go to Authority. You can get people that are coming from retail and caddy, even people from Misty, even. Um, it's got a lot of chests, a lot of people in there if you're going for high action kills, games and whatnot. Pretty good place to land, land there pretty often. And then number one, kind of a, I don't know if it's number one, it could be number two, sweaty, and it's almost exactly like lazy within its location, pretty far, um, but... Um, but you are going to rotate to put some salty, pleasant, got people from coral behind you, so you're going to get some kills. has 34 chests. The most of any place in Fortnite history, and that's chapter 2, chapter 1, just in Fortnite history. A lot of chests, really good loot, and pretty easy to rotate out of. And that's going to be the end of the video. And if you guys enjoyed, please subscribe, like, etc. And I hope you enjoyed this. Um... Uh, oh, one last thing, sorry for my double chin, bye.